Hey, this is Joe, and today let's talk about summation or sigma notation. And when I say summation or sigma notation, I'm referring to something that looks like this. So what is this? It's a sum of terms, and the terms are defined by this value i here. Whatever is on the right side of this symbol is the terms that we're adding up. Below our symbol, we have i equals 1. That's our index of summation. It basically just tells us that the first value we're going to start at is 1. And the number above our symbol represents the last value of i that we're going to sum up to. So let's go ahead and work with that example and write out what it represents. Another way we could think of this is we're summing up our term, this blue part, i. So we're going to sum i from i equals 1, this value on the bottom, to i equals 3. And for each one of these terms, the values between 1 and 3, we're going to be adding them together. So these summations represent a bunch of numbers added together. So starting at 1, when we plug 1 into i, we get 1. We go up to the next number, which is 2, so we add 2. And we go up to the next number, which is 3, and we add 3. Now, we stop at 3 because that was this upper number up here. And so all that this summation represents is really 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. Here, I have 1 through 100 all added together, and that kind of takes up a lot of space. So the value of summation, or this notation, is that I can represent this sum of 1 through 100 with this down here, the sum from i equals 1 to 100 of i. So the real value of this notation is that you kind of save space